Hey guys, Swift Rick here, and today I'm going to give you guys some general tips and advice on how to snipe in Destiny. The first tip I would give you guys is to get used to a certain look sensitivity and stick with it. I believe that if you stick with one certain sensitivity, it will help you to progress with your aiming, but if you switch your sensitivity a lot, then you're basically starting fresh and not progressing with your aiming skill. I've been using sensitivity of 7 in the game ever since I started in year 1, so I've become very comfortable aiming with this sensitivity and since I stuck with it, I've gotten even better. So pick a sensitivity you're comfortable with and try to stick with it is my first tip. My next tip would be to get accustomed to getting precision shots with precision based weapons in PvP and PvE. These precision based weapons I'm talking about would be like hand cannons such as the Hawk Moon or the AS Luna or scout rifles or even pulse rifles. If you do this enough, making precision shots with any weapon will become second nature to you and that will hopefully make sniping easier for you. Like I mentioned in my Thousand Yard Stare God Roll video, I've been using scout rifles a lot back then and I also used to use the Hawkmoon a shit ton back then, even in PvE. I always went for precision shots with these weapons and now I'm so used to it that it has gotten even easier than before, especially for sniping. Now let's talk about movement. You have to know when it is good to stay in a spot and when it is not to. There are times enemies are coming out of the same place and you will be able to stay in a spot and snipe them. But there will also be times enemies are in many different places and you need to move around. As you can see in this clip, there are enemies coming from many different areas. If I stayed in one spot they could have easily killed me since they would know where I was, but since I was moving around a lot, they don't have time to find me and kill me and then I'm able to catch them off guard and kill them. So you need to use movement to position yourself in a place where you have the advantage point. You can also use your body movement to make slight adjustments to your aim to get the shot where you want it. Next tip would be to practice with your swipe shots. Swipe shots are basically moving your aim quickly and instinctively shooting on time to hit your target. If you have gotten used to a sensitivity and accustomed to making precision shots, this should be a little easier now. A lot of my shots are swipe shots, which helps very much, so it's important to work on this as this will help step up your game substantially. You will also want to work on your pre-aim. Pre-aim is basically where you look before you aim down scope. You want to pre-aim as to where the middle point of the screen is as close to your target so then when you aim down scope you will only need to make slight adjustments to get the reticle on your target or perhaps you won't need to make any adjustments at all. If you get really good at this then this will help you with your quick scoping. So speaking of quick scoping, I believe you should quick scope only when you have a split second to make a shot, but most of the time you will probably want to take your time to aim well and to get the precision shot. You should also find the type of sniper you prefer and feel most comfortable with. There are lots of different types of snipers. There are snipers that have better handling, there are snipers that are big or small so they affect how much you can see depending on how bulky or sleek they are. Then the main thing in my opinion is if you prefer high stability, low impact snipers or if you prefer low stability, high impact snipers. High stability snipers are good for follow up shots or to get one headshot and then easily move to another precision headshot. For my taste, I prefer the low stability high impact snipers. Because with high impact snipers, you can rest snipe such as I do in this clip right here. Okay, I'm going for Fernando. They got him. And you can one shot headshot a guardian in his super. Since I play a lot of Trials of Cyrus and Skirmish, one shot headshot, super kills, and rest sniping really helps me out a lot, so I definitely prefer the high impact snipers. Another tip would be to know when to swap off to your primary to finish off a kill. Sometimes it's quicker to just swap off and finish them off with the primary instead of trying to get a second shot with the sniper. Or if you're able to, try and finish them off with a melee if they're close enough, but if you notice they're not close enough and you need to use your sniper, then just use that, or if your swapping is too slow, then just stick with the sniper shot. So that's all the tips and general advice I have for you guys on sniping in Destiny. As we know, there's going to be an update, and they're going to change up snipers, so I might make a how to snipe after the April yeah, update video, uh, if it changes a lot. I feel like it won't be too big of a difference. Uh, I feel like I'll still be, the sniping will still have the same feeling. It might be a little harder, but I feel like it's still kind of have the same general feel to it but we'll see i might make a video for the update if you guys have any other tips that i didn't mention mention that in the comments as well 
and help those out that want to see more tips down below in the comments. Also, what do you guys think about the April update for the nerfing and buffing of guns and supers? I'm happy that they nerfed some of the Warlock stuff, to be honest, because we were having a little bit of powerful stuff, such as the uh, duration of Stormcaller or the overshield uh, i guess that was a problem i didn't really notice if it was a big problem but i guess it was but i don't mind it i feel like he'll still have the same feel i'm glad that they made the void walker better apparently the siphoning power is better and that's pretty cool the only thing that sucks is they didn't nerf the touch of flame with viking funeral i thought for sure they were gonna nerf that but they didn't change anything with that so i guess <laughs> we're just gonna have to live with that for now hopefully in the future they nerf it but we'll see what happens at least they fixed the special ammo exploit I mentioned in my Thousand Yard Stare video. Finally, I'm glad they fixed that. So now we don't have to worry about people switching from Icebreaker to a different weapon after they die. And now people's decisions when picking weapons has a bigger impact, which is another thing that I really like as well. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.